And you know what? Over the next few weeks, the internet will change. Big time. We... what? <laughs> So you gotta remember this, net neutrality. Services like Netflix and YouTube, they all owe it down to the neutrality of the internet. But ISPs or internet service providers in the US, they've been long complaining that, you know, supply for internet bandwidth is not enough to cope for the demand that we're asking for. Is this really true? Well, to a certain extent, yes. But the problem lies with the ISPs themselves. Most of these data services that they have are a little outdated. They either need to be upgraded, replaced, or even just start building newer, better, and bigger backbones for the internet. And all this costs money. Hence, these ISPs, uh, they are now going to the FCC, or better known as the Federal Communications Commission in Congress, and they have asked for rights to preserve the internet. Why? Because it's cheaper that way, and if they get what they want, they'll make a lot more money. How so? Well, currently the FCC has formulated a plan that allows these ISPs in the US to charge companies for a premium access to its customers who require more bandwidth. And that then is the end of net neutrality. Because these ISPs can then reduce the internet speeds, so there goes your YouTube, there goes your Netflix. So these companies then have to pay a premium price to the ISPs. And in order for them to retain their profit margins, the costs Will come down to us and we haven't even gone into how it will hit the tech startups and the aspiring entrepreneurs just because of a few greedy people starting up an online company is going to be a lot more expensive so remember kids net neutrality just like your abcs and don't let it pass like the 114a